Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy CK, and I'm back on the Mad 15. What's good? So we are in episode three of Get to the Top 100 or Die Trying, going up against the Minnesota Vikings. And you'll see from the start who he's using in this game, and I don't blame him. Shit, if I was using the Vikings, I would definitely come with AP, AD all day. You already know, man. He's an animal. He's a beast. And honestly, it's the offseason, so, you know, I'm not mad at him for using him, even though he was uh, not on the team during the season. It's all good, because right here, he's going to throw it across the middle, and that's Malcolm Jenkins coming out of nowhere with the pick. And it looks like we had a lane, unfortunately. Uh, the defense could not block for him. And we do take over in possession, though. Third and long early on in the drive, and we're going deep. The Mac attack. Back at it, man. Look at this guy go. He's too good, man. I'm telling you, this guy's amazing. Every single game I've played with him, he's made at least one amazing play. So, MVP early on in the series for him. Right here, he's going to AP, and look at the lane, man. He just absolutely destroys the defense. Hits him to the back juke and gets another couple yards, right? He's going to hit the counter on third and six and not get it. So fourth down, he goes for it. Tries to test my user, and he does just that. He gets the touchdown. Nice pass right there to his tight end. So it's a tie game early on. I'm trying to hit the screen to Macklin. And if we do end up winning this game, we will be in the top 1,000. I know it's not the 100. I know it's a long way to go, but, I mean, it's a start, right? So we gotta we gotta make sure we win this game. We gotta keep on winning because every time we lose, we we drop a lot of spots, and that's not good, man. We gotta put together a long winning streak, and that's not the way we're gonna do it. Throwing across our body in a quadruple coverage and throwing an interception, man. Early on in the first half, look at him just find a lane, absolutely shredding the defense, man. I hate playing against AP. He's just too good, man. He's too tough to bring down. And obviously, one of the best. Uh, Running backs and Madden history as we drop an interception right there. Right now he's going to the counter once again, man. One of his flavor plays and we find a way to snuff it. Third and 12, though. Remember the route he ran and we were all over it. So he settles for three points. And right here, look at LaShawn McCoy hitting him with a taste of his own medicine. Right there, we could have been gone, but we juked way too early. First and 10, though. Look at Foles stepping up, taking off, showing his, his wheels right there. Even though they're probably more like training wheels, but you know what I mean. And right here, obviously. Not fast enough to get away from the defense that time. This time, it looked like we had a lane fourth and five. We do get close enough to try for it on fourth, and we don't get it, man. He's a great play by him on his defense. Right here, he's going to try getting the field goal range, I'm guessing, but, you know, he's just running the clock out. We're using our timeouts, though. Third and long, he's going to try to run it, and he's not even going to get in the field goal range. Huge stop by my defense. Forced him to go for it on fourth, and look at that. That was a great throw, but honestly, I thought we had the range. I thought we had the length to go ahead and snag that interception, but of course not. And right here, ooh, wow, he almost face caught me, man. I thought we were going to get an interception. This time, it's incomplete, so he does settle for three points once again. Great stand by my defense. They're keeping us in this game, man. And right here, we got to get some points coming out of the second half. We cannot afford to go down multiple possessions, and we hit Macklin. Wow, shaking the defender, man. He's just... He's just too amazing, man. I can't say enough about that guy. Right here, he handed off the Sproles. Nice duo right there. Got to get him some touches every single game, man. Want to keep him involved. Fourth and three, though. Terrible decision by me. Second time going for it on fourth down. And second time not coming up with the conversion. So we're definitely not looking good, man, when it comes to clutch situations. Fourth and seven for him, though. We got to get a stop. And we do just that, man. D'Amico Ryans with a nice tackle right there. And, you know. Taking the ball back on offense. And now we're going to hit him with a screen. Keeping it simple. And look at LaShawn McCoy. Once a game, you can expect him to do something dirty. And right here, he gets the first down. We needed that badly, man. We needed that desperately. And right there, absolute bullet to my boy Jordan Matthews. Showing up the rook. Actually, not a rookie anymore. Because we're, we're moving on past the season. And then right there, Sproles puts the exclamation. Or actually, Shady McCoy puts the exclamation point on that drive. We take the lead, the one-point lead. This is definitely a tight game. Every single game we've played so far has been nothing short of amazing. But, you know, that's just how the game's going to go, man. A lot of competition in online uh, compared to Mutt. I mean, Mutt obviously is good players, you know, especially when you reach all Madden and whatnot. But in the lower seas, there's a lot of guys with great teams and terrible, terrible schemes. But right there, we get fortunate he drops the catch on fourth down. Now we're in the fourth quarter, though. Got to get a couple more first downs. Hopefully get in the field goal range. But, you know, we just want to eat the clock up. And right there, get the ball to Ertz. Definitely a, a great guy to have on offense as a tight end position. He has to improve his blocking. But I think he's going to be a great player for years to come. Second and five. One more first down. Um, after this one, should basically go ahead and seal the deal. We're at the two-minute warning. Hand it off. And LaShawn McCoy, do not fumble. Please do not fumble. He runs, commits, and we have Chris Polk in the game. I like bringing him in. 
in the fourth quarter and James Casey's gonna seal this one up for us he uses his last time out and we end up taking a victory our third in a row in the series so grateful to be in the top 1000 finally man you can see it right there on the screen so hey we're moving on up baby let's go man gotta string together a bunch more wins to even get close to the top 100 but i hope you guys did enjoy it thanks for watching as usual and i'll see you on the next one peace